and good evening and welcome to McLean Zeller's Wine TV. I'm your host, Jason McLean. And I'm Sophia McLean. And Very she, nice to see you guys. And she has the nicest hair on the planet Earth. Sophie, give a little spin. Hey, yo. This hey, yo. is what being shut in during the coronavirus time looks like when you get good hair. I did Sophia's hair myself. Um, I grabbed a wonderful uh, Glad uh, sandwich bag and tied it together in a couple of places. And I created the most beautiful look. This Vidal Salsoon has nothing on my lovely wife. She looks so good being shut in, going absolutely nowhere. So round of applause for me. Yes. Wow, amazing. Yes. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's going to be a second job. That's my second job. Area. I'm a hairdresser. Welcome to Wine TV, my friends. I'm your host, Jason McLean, my lovely wife, Sophia. We're from McLean Cellars, and we come out here every Wednesday night and every Saturday night at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and we hang out with our friends. We drink lots of wine. We talk about new ideas. We wine taste. We cook great meal. We make an amazing wine cocktail. And above all, we have an absolutely amazing time. So as long as you are at home, sheltering in place, you've got a glass, preferably of a really good glass of McLean Cellars in your hand, and a bottle of vino waiting to be able to pour it when you run out, you're going to spend the next hour hanging out with us, and we're going to guarantee you one thing, that will make your liver quiver, and your shimmy shimmy will cocoa pop, and you will do cartwheels all up and down while you're in your sweatpants, and your kids will think you've lost your proverbial mind, because you are stuck here at the house like we are. People having a little bit of a connection problem. They're right? having connection problems? Well, yes, they have connection There we go. They well, they can connect it there. Now they're connected. Connect it. There we go. All right, back to the connecting people. Yes, keep spinning. There you go. Right on. All right. So if you haven't figured out just yet, if my wife just noticed to you, we have a little chat roll. If you're watching us live on a webinar jam, there's a chat roll that we're paying attention to. Tonight we're also broadcasting for the very first time on our YouTube live stream. So if you're watching on YouTube, you've got a separate chat roll you can watch there on YouTube and make your comments and your engagements. And we can pick those up as we kind of go through the night. So without any further ado, the most important thing we do in every one of these trumpet these moments is we blast our trumpet because, Sophia, it is time that we introduce our very, very special, amazing, fantastic guests. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. that says it's time to bring out our first guest. Tonight, the mixologist of mixing, the man who can literally stand in a room, hold his breath longer than anyone else, and not turn blue. This man has so much wine inside of him and drinks so consistently that when he goes to the doctor, they take his, his blood, they ask him, do you want to change the oil because there's so much alcohol? This guy is drinking more bottles of McLean Cellars. Matter of fact, when he goes to the winery, I got to make sure that barrels aren't lost and missing because this man is the best drinker of all time. Ladies and gentlemen, our good friend, your great friend, the man, the myth, and the drinker of mixologists who will teach you to make a wine cocktail faster than a speeding fart, Mark Barley! Yeah. Welcome, Mark. Oh, hey. How you doing? We're great. That's super. I'm your host, Jason McClain. No, wait. <laughs> That's Jason McClain. He's your host. I'm just here to make drinks. It's How's everybody doing better. tonight? It's even better. Oh my gosh, even better, even better. All right, and our next special, amazing, perfect, fantastic guest is none other than the one dude, the one myth, the one legend, the guy whose hair looks absolutely amazing. All the, the most, time. all the time. This guy can walk into a room and people will look at him and ask him the question, does Vidal Sassoon know your number? Do they really know who you are? And if that's you, you know what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, the man, Jack Ryan. Hey. Welcome Jack Ryan to the show. Arga. Hey, Big Daddy, what's happening? Hello, everybody. Jason, I'm looking at the chat roll that we've got, and it looks like people are having a little bit of technical. A whole bunch of people. 
Yeah, yeah let's Wait. see here. So should we reauthorize? What What would you think that we should do? We're going to do a panic button real quick, and we'll be right back after this panic button to make sure everybody. Here we go. Here we go. Coming right back. I don't know if it's good. Maybe they don't like the but I will cash the other one. And we're back. Let's see if that fixed some of those chat challenges real quick. And you guys let us know if you can see us all right. We had a little technical difficulty or not. Let's see here. Usually the small issue, which is always a wonderful thing. So I'm back. I see Jack is back here in the room. And let's find out what our friends say. We're at a four-second delay here. So sometimes it does take a few extra seconds to get things all dialed in the way we want them. So let's see what we got over here. Check in the chat room. If you can see us all good and everyone can see us, that means our room has been redeveloped and we're back in motion. Let me know if you can see me, my friends. We got usually a little delay. We'll figure that out. If not, we're going to try another button because there's always a button you can press. The it's more like buttons, easy button. Well, there's it's always an easy, easy button. button. I think the more buttons, that was easy. the better things are. Let's see here. I see Karen in from Colorado. Let's see. Phil. Uh, let's see here. Take two. Watching it spin, Virginia says. Let's see what that means. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. I was yeah. hoping to see the pasta recipe, but let's see. There are connection problems here. This is awesome. Can you see us? Always love to see things break. Let's see here. That's Hopefully. okay. It's all going to be okay. I tell you, you know what? These things happen. We're going to persevere and we're going to make it right. Uh, also, it could be, Jason, that because we're splitting our, our, our signal tonight, uh, YouTube might be seeing a little bit of our thunder. So I would ask you that if you can watch us on YouTube, go to McLean Sellers' YouTube live channel. Uh, you might get a better picture there. Well, let's see. They have an issue for some reason. This is very strange. Well, in the meantime, if you can hear us, you keep drinking wine, so this experience right. will be much smoother. Yeah, thank you, you for know, that. I'm trying just... to reconnect. I promise you, alcohol helps. Alcohol helps. Oh, wow. drink. Great wine from the McLean Cellars. I've been up since thirty in the morning today, so here is my dessert. <laughs> and I can be very descriptive on what we're cooking tonight, if worse comes to worse, but I gotta tell you, I've got a wonderful visual, I must say. So let us persevere and make certain that we can do what we need to do. I'm all in. Let me check a couple of quick things if I can see if I can do a few things. Um, and let's see, I see everything on YouTube. I see YouTube working just fine. Um, and let's see what we got here. YouTube. All right. Hang on for one second. Let me see if I can get everybody over to YouTube. And that might be the answer. So if you're on Webinar Jam watching us and it sucks donkey poo, then you have to my apologies. Hold that thought. Oh, happy Nurses Day to Kristen. I see. Well, happy Nurses Day, Kristen. I don't know who's Kristen is on the chat, but happy Nurses Day. Happy oh, Nurses Day. I, I didn't get you a present. Oh, well, see, now you've done it. I'm going to hold it against you. I'm just kidding. <laughs> hey, you guys take over for me for a second. Uh, Mark, I'm going to pass it to you for a second. You can chit-chat for a minute. No wine tasting. Give me a second. Give me one minute to go off. No wine tasting. Mark, can I ask you one simple question? Is oh, of there, course. Are there, are there more than two ingredients in the drink tonight? There are, yeah. There are. There are, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Six, there's like 12. There's a ton. I'm so we're, pleased because we're gonna go crazy. Say, between the Coke and the wine last week, yeah, I, I, I got my proportions wrong because it was, um, it, was, it was a little challenging. Having said that, I'm really looking forward. And I understand that you were looking for yeah. guava juice. Where did you look? Uh, yeah, I'm fresh out of guava juice, but I'm going to substitute tonight. So you'll see. Well, I, I think you can see, actually. We're substituting with orange juice. And it's not on the recipe because I'm throwing that in. I think everyone's uh -huh. going to like it. Tastes really good. Right. So if you pulled up the recipe, go ahead and gather those ingredients now and grab your OJ if you have any. I see you got a little maker's mark on the board, too. You know, uh, we have a house yep. in Bartstown, Kentucky, and we have been to uh, the maker's mark uh, distillery. 
Mm -hmm. And I get to get you there because it's a blast. And uh, they make really nice uh, booze there. I got to tell you. The, that Makers 46 is really good. I've been mm -hmm. enjoying that one. Yep, me yep. too. Yeah. Makers Mature is really good too. It I really haven't is, had that. It's kind of the first and only bourbon that, I, that I've that i actually has passed my lips in the, in the course of the past 10 years. So oh. I'm right. just saying. <laughs> All right, no, I just put the link yeah, up in the ticking roll for everyone watching this on the webinar jam tonight. The link directly to our YouTube channel uh, is in the chat roll, and you can click on over to YouTube. And everyone who's watching tonight, if you go ahead and pop over to YouTube, you'll be able to get it. There's a chat roll on YouTube. And hey, we just may end up being a broadcast going backwards and forward and having lots of fun. And oh, happy day. This is what you do when you're on a low budget broadcast where you don't have a crew and it's our first time trying to broadcast from our platform and on YouTube at the exact same time. This is called technology that breaks. It happens. <laughs> yeah. Epic, epic fail. Well, you know, I don't know about you, but you know, and I spent a whole heck of a lot of money on dinner tonight. I got to tell you, if there's probably at least, a, I'm, I'm thinking $15 here. Okay. So, Whoa. Yeah, we're, I'm 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 going large. Go go bigger. Go home. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it looks like we were able to get people back. Some are watching us fine. Uh, Brian doesn't see a YouTube link. Uh, I'll post it again, Brian. There's a YouTube link there for you, brother. In our chat room on the webinar jam. Uh, if you go over to it, if you if you can't, it's all the, the sticky button up there as well, my friend. You click on the link. It'll take it to YouTube. It's broadcasting live right now. Uh, we've already got people moving over there one by one by one, which is great. Uh, so if you can see us on Webinar Jam tonight, where you're at, you're awesome. No need to go anywhere. If you can't, move over to YouTube, and we'll fix that before Saturday night. Awesome sauce. All right, back to the show. Welcome. This is Cool Times. I think tonight we need to have one important thing, guys. I think it's time for a safe word. Our safe word tonight is... Rudderless. <laughs> Shocking. Rudderless. Why? Because it's a wine. It's called rudderless. <laughs> it's named rudderless for those times in life you have absolutely no blank what you're doing, no blank where you're going, and no blankety blank what you're doing here. Because it's a, a perfect for quarantine time. It's a quarantine time. <laughs> Why are we all shut in our houses? Why can't we go out to work? Why can't jobs and companies be employing people? Why can't we leave our homes and go out and have fun? Why? Because the government said we can't. That's the only reason why. But hey, you know what would, have, what would have shocked me, Jason? What's up? Is that if you had said, if you had said uh, our safe word is rudderless. Rudder, we're going to call it rudderless because it's a uh, cola it, it it really it's nice and uh you should serve it over ice and it's refreshing yeah I won't <laughs> yeah there we go <laughs> you know this oh, whole i'm sorry uh, okay i'm sorry this whole COVID 19 world that's just driving us all nuts you know the truth of the matter is i mean mark how do you spend your day-to-day -day life i mean going to a bank going to the grocery store everywhere we're going wearing masks everywhere we go yeah everywhere. you know it's funny you mentioned it because I went to the bank for the first time during the lockdown, um, you know, maybe a week ago with a mask on. That's the first time I've ever been to any bank with a mask on and I wasn't arrested at the door. <laughs> so, you know, as I'm, as I'm talking to the teller, I'm kind of standing there, I'm, I'm, I'm pre-planning what I'm going to say. Cause I don't, it's like saying bomb in an airport or something like that. Like, I don't want to say the wrong thing where someone runs out from the back room and tackles me in the floor of the bank. Right, uh, right. Very, very surreal. But I tell you what, I'm not even worried about COVID anymore at this point. I am scared to death of murder hornets now. That's yes. that's where the real well, problem is. You know what? When people ask him questions, now with the murder hornets, now how much toilet paper we need to buy them? I stocked <laughs> up. I stocked up. I went to Costco. I bought 10 packs of toilet paper. Yeah. So I'm good until like next April, May, oh, something like that. <laughs> you I'm fine. You foreshadowed my next, um, my next recipe uh, for Saturday, which is going to be 
uh, roasted murder hornets uh, thoraxes and 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 uh, bums. Nice. You know what? Unfortunately, roasted different. Unfortunately, I think Nabisco beat you to it because now you can get flaming hot murder hornets. <laughs> <laughs> They're amazing. <laughs> With chili oil, yes. You know, They're really you know, good. good don't be afraid hot. of bugs, people. Well, you know bugs. what? I think next cocktail for the next week should should be called Murder Hornet uh, White oh. or something, I guess. Can you imagine? Can you imagine as a garnish you got a Murder Hornet hanging on top of <laughs> Just <laughs> grabbing the edge of the glass. <laughs> so you got people going, oh, Jesus, what am I going to drink now? Oh, my God. The, the trick is oh. getting a sip before it stings you, you know? <laughs> And you get nice plumpy lips. That's right. <laughs> Better than Botox. Better than Botox. <laughs> that could be that could be the marketing. That could be the marketing uh, banner. Totally. Murderers. Better than Botox. That's yeah. right. <laughs> totally. You know, plastic surgery. You'd be hurt. Even I just easy. got I just got the murder the murder hornets thing in with my lips. <laughs> I'm good now. Okay, I'm, I'm fine. Delectable, yeah. absolutely delectable. <laughs> I can't wait. Well, you know what? I think it's time that we introduce our wine for the night and we get ready to do a little bit of wine tasting before we get into it. Tonight, we've got an amazing show for you guys tonight. We've got some yummy, yummy, yummy wine tasting lined up and we're all going to take a sip of something. Now, all three of us have a wine here. Uh, we've all got the exact same wine, and we're proud to introduce you guys to some wine. When we get ready to do some wine, the most important thing you got to do before you drink wine is, well, you got to dance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jack is here in a lifetime of his oh, life, yeah. you know that. Jack can jam. Have you ever seen anybody jam like Jack? Jack can jam. He's got more jamming skills than anybody I've ever seen. Welcome, my friends. We're going to go over and taste our first wine for the night. It is Rudderless. You got it? Rudderless. It is a Petit Verdot Zinfandel with a bit of Morvedra. It's absolutely yummy, 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 yummy with a yummy, yummy in your tummy. Sophia? Yes. You get the honor of the very first taste, my love, my perfect wife, whose hair I did for her, by the way. Yes, that's right. I am the hairdresser, the master of hair, me. <laughs> it's a moment. All right. Um, a little bit of a black cherry, earthy, earthy aroma. A little bit of a, not lemongrass. What's the, what's the word I'm looking for? What are you doing? I lost my husband over here, everybody. So here I am. Um, it was early, maybe a little bit of leather and a little bit of sandalwood. A little sandalwood. Sandalwood. Yeah. So, so I, was, sandalwood. I was thinking for something earthier smell, not lemongrass, but and on the notes, a Zinfandel brings a little bit more of a bite to the finish of this wine. I like it. It has like a nice. Uh, refreshing like a crisp flavor it's like it captures your mouth very robust taste you know like very mouthful yes um lots of fruits like lots of fruit but it's not um overpowering like with sugar contest absolutely yeah. not it's very well balanced wine this is a drier wine than yeah. other ones you might have definitely a fruit forward wine but yeah. a little bit drier yeah um and this one here great well great goes with pasta yeah goes yeah. great with pasta if, if you like our hope and faith our petite syrah you'll love this one the Petit Verdot uh, is absolutely amazing. A little Zinfandel, touch of the Morvedra. This is a delightful, delightful wine, very easy to drink. And this is going to go great with our wine cocktails tonight. Uh, and I think it's a good time that we let everybody know about the wine cocktail. Because yes, I can't we're, wait to hear it. we're going to be bringing back another wine cocktail tonight that Mark Brothers going to be making for us. And it's absolutely yummy, yummy, yummy for your tummy, tummy, tummy. Don't you agree? Yes, I am. Mark, fire come away. Come on back, my friend. Let's get ready to show Hello. the world how we can make an absolutely fantastic cocktail. Because tonight is cocktail time with the man, the drinker of drinkers, Mark Barley. That's me. That's me. So if you were here last time we made this drink, I hope you tried it. Uh, this is a really good way to use your wine. 
besides just drinking your wine. It makes a great cocktail. So it's called the McLean Sour. We're going to start with a nice glass of ice and a shaker. Actually, we're going to use this one. So tonight, instead of, uh, I think I used Woodford last time, I'm going to use Maker's 46. Nice little bourbon. We're going to do two ounces of that. You can use rye. You can use, I wouldn't use scotch. I think scotch is probably too dry, but any type of bourbon or whiskey or rye, I think would go well with this. So we're going to do two ounces of that. Maybe a little more because, you know, I like bourbon as much as I like wine. And then we're going to do an ounce of lemon juice. We just eyeball that. So I'm going to squeeze it in from a fresh lemon. We're going to do an ounce of simple syrup. I don't want it to be too sweet. Some people like that. I'm just going to use just a little bit because this stuff is potent. Simple syrup. And then we're going to do a half ounce of wine. But before we do that, I'm going off menu here. I'm going to add a splash of orange juice. That's going to sweeten it up a little bit, make it kind of tart, make it taste really good. Okay, so get that in your shaker full of ice. Give it a couple shakes. Do you feel that thing get really cold in your hand? We're gonna go ahead and pour that over our ice, if I can get the lid off. There we go. That looks good enough to drink right there. All right, now, trick with the wine is you don't wanna pour it in, you don't wanna mix it, because you wanna make it look cool. So what we're gonna do is just put a spoon right over the top of the glass like this and just pour the wine on top. It says about a half ounce or so. You can see I'm pouring most of it all over my counter in the glass, but that's okay, because that's what we make napkins for. You got nice little color separation there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Looks really cool in the glass, like a professional looking cocktail. You can impress your friends and family. Give it a taste. That's really good. Goes really well with rudderless. I hope you tried it. If you haven't, try it sometime. I think you'll like it. It's really good. Back to you, Bob. Here, Bob is here. Yes, we like being Bob. He said Bob. Mm -hmm. He said Bob. Yeah, okay, you're Bob. You know where it's Bob come from, Sophie? Yeah. The Bob Newhart. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're fine. Exactly. All right. Exactly. Good thing. So something I learn every day. You Bob. know, we always learn new things. You know what I learned the most? I learned that I love you so much. Oh, I love you too. You remind me just more than like, you know, if I found a quarter in my pocket, I never knew it was there, it's as if I fell in love with you. Hmm. You're my quarter in the pocket. Oh, it's so sweet. Wow. <laughs> Okay, I love it. absolutely. Jack, I think yes, that sir. we're going to begin the process of figuring out what our tasting is going to be when it comes to cooking tonight. But to do that, we have to first dance. That's right. Jack, show us what you got, brother. We're making a dish that Rome loves. We're making pasta carbonara tonight. This is one of my favorite pastas of all time. It has no cream in it. It has no butter in it. It's essentially five separate ingredients, but this is the kicker right here. Our ingredients tonight include this baby right here. This is guanciale. Oh, oh, you want this. You want this. This is the cheek of the pig. Now, it's not cured so much as it is. It's uh, dried and, and, and salted and roasted a little bit, okay? But if, if you're going to substitute something for this, you're going to substitute bacon, but not smoked bacon. Uncured bacon, cured bacon is great, but bacon or if you got a, if you got a pancetta. I, I have this little uh, Italian market in Tustin, and so I got the guanciale. Oh, this is gonna be so good. We're gonna cut this up. We're gonna make certain that we make little guanciale uh, uh, squares tonight. We're gonna put this in with a beautiful, delicious pasta. The pasta can be whatever you want, whether it be spaghetti or angel hair or linguine or fusilli or penny pasta, whatever you want. The other ingredients, 
Pecorino Romano cheese, three egg yolks, an onion, and the kicker here is the pepper. Now, that's where the carbonara comes in. There are two stories about carbonara. The first story is that the coal miners in Rome would eat pasta for their midday meal. And because their hands were dirty, what would happen is the pasta would become all kind of sort of spotty with the coal dust, okay? Hence carbonara. The second thing is it was the, it was the charcoal makers that had all of the, the dirty hands and then their wives would bring them a midday meal and that would be pasta and their hands would be dirty and so the pasta would become encrusted. In this particular case, this is a freshly grated and freshly ground um, um, black pepper and we're gonna use that as the carbonara. And you know what, this is gonna come together in about 12 minutes. It's gonna be really, really tasty. It's one of my favorite pastas of all time. The spaghetti water that you're going to be cooking, or the pasta water, is really integral to the gist, the, 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 the entire dish. And we're going to have a lot of fun cooking this tonight. So you know what? When we're ready to th throw it to me, in 12 minutes, we're going to have a spectacular dish. Back to you, brother. Nothing beats being the man, the myth, and the legend like you are. And your hair, by the way, looks absolutely fantastic. Who knows what might happen in the next segment, Jason? Who knows? You never know. You know, I've been thinking a while and, you know, Mark and Jack, I can tell you, um, we've been doing this world of these great shows and um, uh, having lots of fun. Oh, oh well, sorry. That's okay. She's, I'm on, so she's sorry. on Facebook. No, I'm not on Facebook. I was responding to my work. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, Facebook, Facebook. My, no, it's not Facebook. Not, not yet. Facebook. Facebook? Facebook? No, not yet. Not Facebook. No Facebook. <laughs> anyway, um, us, this shut-in time has been really amazing. It's been almost you know, mind-boggling for most of us, wasn't it? Uh, and for the past several weeks now, I mean, actually almost two months, that we've been shut down in our Laguna Beach location, in our building location, uh, and we're, you know, resorting to being in our home and doing this live broadcast, I kept saying to myself, there's got to be a way that people could find a way to go back to work. And, and frankly, the truth of the matter is, you know, unemployment's run, it's not run out, but people haven't gotten it. A lot of people are still in the line for their unemployment check. That is so true. Uh, I know lots of people who applied for unemployment literally uh, months ago, two months ago almost, uh, and still haven't gotten anything. Um, I understand that, you know, I, I for one, as a small business owner, um, have not gotten my uh, disaster uh, recovery opportunity um, from the federal government. And we just keep waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. So Sophie and I write our own checks to help take care of our small business, to help our friends and our family. And of course, those people who are uh, entirely uh, shut in with nowhere to go, just basically helpful, helpless. Um, so the idea is, how do you fix all this one? So I've been wrestling back and forth for a while and I have an idea. What do people like to do the most? I mean, think about it. We're shut in right now. We can't go anywhere. What is the one thing that we love doing? Before the COVID-19 outbreak took place, we all love to sit at home and drink uh, at the end of the day. We go to work, we come home, and we have a glass of wine. Uh, what are we all doing right now? We're all drinking. It's as if we feel somewhat, you know, rudderless. Safe word, rudderless. You have to say that. You have to drink when you get it. And I said, you know, what if I can create an opportunity? What if I can create a plan that helps people to get an income while they drink? How many tonight, by a show of hands, in the chat roll on YouTube or in the chat roll on here on the webinar, Jen, uh, would love to be able to earn an income to drink wine? Because the truth of the matter is, wouldn't it be more fun if you could earn commissions, earn revenue, earn money, hang out with your friends, and make a living by drinking? See, my job title is head drinker. Mark Barley beats me most of the time in that one because he's a much better drinker than I can. But, you know, the truth of the matter is being a head drinker is really, really important. So we're going to launch something new. This is my secret to make sure everyone knows. We're going to launch something new that – is different than anyone's ever done. And I want to know your interest level. I'm going to post up here on the page. I'm going to put a link in the chat roll on YouTube. 
and I'm going to post a link over here uh, that allows people to see a link that you can fill out and I'll share my screen for those of you who are not able to see it entirely. So on the you can see it. I'm posting the chat roll and this is your interest form. If you want to get paid by drinking wine, imagine yourself. You remember the Tupperware parties? Tupperware parties. Remember Tupperware? No. I'm you know, because you're not from this country. Yeah. <laughs> Mark, do you remember the Tupperware parties? I do. I do. I remember I remember my mom having Tupperware parties and we had like the avocado green refrigerator. And I think there was some yellow and some orange going on, like just really horrific decorations. If your house still looks like that, uh, you know, if you're out there in the world, I'm sorry. It's just hideous. That's the way <laughs> yeah. I grew up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I remember. You have, you have to burp the lid. Right. Wow. Right. Make sure it's airtight. When you hear the pop, you know it's good. And I got to tell you something. No other container since Tupperware has been as good because we have probably 50 to 60,000 pieces of plastic, you know, containers where they're all missing lids and, and none of it works as well as the original Tupperware. Of course. <laughs> no, nothing does. Yeah. We still have Tupperware. So if you think about this one, what if, like the world of Tupperware, um, what if you could like earn a living drinking wine and with your friends? How would that sound to you? I think well, I could be a zillionaire. I personally, I personally would be a billionaire by now. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in. Let's go. We all froze up. That's on our side. I don't. I think they can see it just. Oh. Uh oh. Jason. Oh, you know what? So it's me and you, Mark. So here's oh, the that's it. So I tell oh, you he's what. back. Oh, he's back. Say nothing at casual. This is this is the night of technical difficulties. <laughs> Everything we do. Oh, casual. So listen, <laughs> if this sounds like something you want to do, this sounds like something you want interest in, and you say to yourself, I would really love to figure out how I can make money, drink wine, talk to friends, and be cool. Well, on my screen, I'm sharing my screen with you right now. There's a little form. All I want you to do is fill out this form. Fill out this form with your name, your email address, your phone number, how long you've been drinking really good wine. Tell me if you're a wine club member or not. Uh, and tell me if you have ever sold anything in your life or you want to be behind the scenes. Either it's just fine. And tell me about your experience, where you are right now. Have you lost your job? Have you been furloughed? Have you been laid off? Uh, and if you if so, how long have you done this one? Where are you at? And and why do you really want to work with McLean Sellers in this new idea? If that's you, this is the page to go to. It's right here in the chat row, in the comments on the YouTube, down below. And I want you to tell me your thoughts and your story. Because if you want to join us on this new adventure, this new idea that we're going to go down the road of, of helping people to get back to work, drink really good wine, make a living, and pretend you're a Tupperware lady, <laughs> but Tupperware and wine, it's never been done before. But I can tell you something. I know how to do it. I know how to make it work. And if you want to help me help you help others drink more good wine, become liquored up in the afternoon. Every housewife, every husband, every man, woman, and child should be liquored up in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Guaranteed yeah. 2020. Disclaimer, just kidding about the children. But everybody else is really truthful. I think when my mom was having Tupperware parties back in the day, they weren't drinking wine either. They were drinking uh, Seagram 7 and Tab. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Yes. Oh, wow. Remember how disgusting Tab was? Tab, white, white Zinfandel. No, <laughs> in, the box. Box. in the box. Yes. Yeah. Box. yeah. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Let, let, let me give you another one. Remember, remember Bartles and James? Oh yeah, of course. Thank you for your Dude. support. Yeah. Nothing yeah. Bartles and James. I can tell you, my college and high school days were now filled with joy thanks to Bartles and James. Oh, this thing's tasting so bad. Horrible. <laughs> That's our next wine cocktail, by the way. Bartles and James, a new wine bottle from McLean Zillers. <laughs> Jack, are you ready to cook? 
Yes, sir. I am stepping up to the plate. Awesome. Ladies Fire and gentlemen, away. it's my honor and my privilege to introduce you to Jack Ryan, webinar chef. Take it, Jack. Let me introduce you to one of my favorite pastas of all time. This is pasta carbonara. This is so good and it's so easy. Now, look, I've got guanciale here, which is the cheek of the pig. And because I happen to have a little Italian market, we've maintained social distancing. We wore masks and all that kind of stuff. If you don't have guanciale, if you don't have pancetta, you can certainly use bacon. I would suggest that you don't use smoked bacon because it over, overpowers the dish. You want something that's a little more subtle, okay? So we're going to put the heat underneath uh, a really nice sized pan. I've got rapidly boiling water over here, and I'm going to salt the water. Now, salt in this thing is going to be very rare because whichever meat you choose, whether it be the pancetta or the, um, or the bacon or the guanciale in this particular point, you have to make certain that you you taste for salt, okay? Because you don't want to make the dish over salty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some salt in there, okay? Now, and it's funny what happens when you throw salt into a boiling pan. It goes like Vesuvius, right? And then it calms down a little bit because it's got to figure out what kind of chemicals it's got in it. But in this particular case, it's not a big whip, all right? So now I'm going to take my guanciale. I've already got a heat underneath the pan and I'm gonna cut the guanciale or the pancetta or the bacon into little pieces, all right? So I'm gonna use about that much. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna throw it over here. I got a little piece attached here. Oh, by the way, I have to, I have to read my um, dish towel to you. Where is it? It's right here. It says, I'm eating right now in case I get hungry later. <laughs> so there you go. All right, so now I'm gonna cut squares out of this, make it really easy to render all of that fat. Now there's a lot of fat in bacon and there's a lot of fat in guanciale and there's a lot of fat in porchetta, okay? But in this particular case, we want that fat because it's important for us to actually cook and render that fat out because that becomes part of the flavor of this dish, okay? So now, I've got my guanciale in the pan. Let's take this over here. And I am going to stir this a little bit, okay? Now what you're gonna see, especially if you got bacon in here or you've got pancetta or whatever, you're gonna get some smoke, which is a good thing, and you're gonna get a little bit of this rendering process going on. There's a lot of fat in here. I'm going to show you how to take some of the fat out in case you don't want as much fat. What you can do is you take a little piece of um, paper towel. Can you give me a piece of paper towel, babe? Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to soak this paper towel into this pan. Okay. Now, when I'm at this particular stage, what I want to do is I want to make certain that my pasta is going to cook but not cook all the way through. Now, depending on the pasta you use, and remember, this particular dish goes with literally anything that you might want in the way of pasta. So you've got spaghetti, angel hair, linguine, um, uh, the, the little swirly things, uh, uh, penne pasta. It goes with every single pasta you could possibly make, okay? As a matter of fact, the, the Romans are very, very particular about this. And what they'll do is they'll make certain that there is a... Um, spaghetti involved in it now it's thick spaghetti so you got to make certain that you've got all of this happening we're going to move this in the pot because like i said we're rendering fat from this thing it's important now here's the other thing the most important thing that we have to remember about pasta carbonara is that there is no cream and no butter these are three egg yolks okay so what i'm going to do with the egg yolks is i'm going to use a little pecorino romano cheese I'm gonna take this here. I'm gonna take a little spoon here. I'm gonna, forgive me for coming off camera for a second, okay? This is Pecorino Romano. Can you use Parmesan? Yes. Can you use any other dry cheese? Of course you can. What I would not suggest that you do is use any kind of a, um, uh, what I call a sticky cheese, like a, um, like a mozzarella or something like that, because you don't want your dish to be really sticky, all right? So, 
I've got a lot of fat rendering from the Guanciale right now. These are looking absolutely freaking fantastic. I'm going to borrow a real quick fork here. Here we go with a fork. And I'm going to blend. I'm going to blend the egg yolk and the cheese. Look how I do that. It's really simple, okay? This is essentially the basis of, of your cream, okay? Now, I'm going to drop my pasta. In this particular case, I've got one pound of angel hair pasta. It's going to come right into the pot. Boom! Okay, I'm going to give that a little tiny stir. Because it's going to bring that back to a boil. Now you see I'm making a lot of smoke with this, and, you, and, and Shelly Ann actually had to leave the room for a second because the smoke is drifting her way. I Hang on a second. I am going, <laughs> I'm going to use the download here, okay? All right. Now. No, it doesn't. Can you hear me? We're all good, right? Now, I'm going to take my yellow onion. I've moved everything to the side of the pan. I'm going to put my yellow onion in here, okay? I'm going to soften that up a little bit. Poor Shelly Ann, she's been coughed out of this thing. That's all right. Things fall down in my kitchen all the time, all right? So we're taking the onion, and we are absolutely softening up in that beautiful pancetta oil. Now, here's the deal. I'm going to take my paper towel. And I'm going to make certain that I just touch these things a little bit because I don't want that much fat in the dish, okay? So my paper towel is essentially my way of loosening things up a little bit, okay? Let's throw it away. All right. I'm going to mix everything up here. My guanciale. My onions. I'm going to turn off the downdraft because Shell Hand says, turn off the downdraft. Is that better? Okay, cool. All right, here we go. Let's go check on my pasta. My pasta looks freaking awesome at this particular point in time. It is boiling like crazy, and it is about three minutes away from where I need it to be to put it back in the pan. All right, now, here's the deal. I'm going to take a ladle. I'm going to take some of this pasta water and I'm going to put it in my cheese and egg mixture. This is important and I'm going to mix this around and what I'm doing is I'm essentially curing the eggs. I'm making certain they don't turn into scrambled eggs once I put them in the pot, okay? Which is really important. So there it is. I'm tempering. This is called tempering the eggs. Tempering the eggs and the cheese. Look how creamy that is. Oh, you know what I got to tell you guys? This is this is so simple to, to do, and it's a lot of fun. All right, here we go. Now, I have got my pasta, which I'm going to take out of the pan. I'm going to put it directly into, and see, that was only about seven minutes right there, okay? I'm going to put it into this pan, this nice hot pan right here. And you're thinking to yourself, no, this has got to be a little tight. Hold on a second. Remember, I told you this is the pasta water is really important here, okay? So take the entire pound of pasta out. This is going to be a little tight when it first hits the dish. Don't worry about that, okay? Now, you want to cook your pasta according to package directions, and you're going to take it out about two minutes before it's done. This is angel hair, so it's the quickest cooking pasta that you can find, right? So here we go, last of this. And now I'm going to take a good ladle of the pasta water, put that back in the pan, and now here's the magic ingredient. I'm going to stir this up, right? Oh, you should smell this. This is awesome, okay? At this particular point in time, I'm going to put my first pepper in here, okay? 
freshly ground back pepper because this is carbonara, right? I'm gonna stir that through. Plenty of salt in this at this particular point in time. If you're using a really salty bacon, just be advised, okay? All right, so I am moving the pasta around and it's soaking up all this liquid. It looks a little tight, so what do I do? I take a little bit more of that pasta liquid and I put it in there and now, here comes my egg mixture. And now the magic happens. This is where the magic happens, folks, okay? So I've got the cheese and the eggs in here. And this is going to make such a beautiful, unctuous sauce. This is the classic pan sauce that you see in a lot of classic European cook, cook <coughs> excuse me, European cooking, okay? And we're just going to kind of sort of coat that all through. Oh, this is so good, all right? Now, if you want a little more cheese, you can put a little more cheese in here at this particular point in time. But we're going to finish the dish with cheese, remember? Okay. And then at this particular point in time, you make a decision. Okay. You take a look at it and say, is this wet enough or dry enough for me to serve? In this particular case, what I want to do is I want to take a little ladle of the pasta water and just work that in there. Okay. Remember, I'm making a classic pan sauce here. Now, at this particular point in time, our pasta is done. The onions are absolutely delicious. The guanciale is nice and crisp. I'm gonna move this over to my serving platter, which is right here. I'm gonna take it to the platter. I'm gonna make beautiful little rolls here. So what I've got is, I've got this, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna just twirl it this way. I'm gonna make two little mounds this way. Okay, one here. I'm gonna take another one here. I'm gonna make a little mound there. Okay. I'm gonna take my pancetta, my guanciale, I should say. I'm so used to working with pancetta. I was so pleased that I got actually got guanciale, okay? The guanciale goes on top of that, okay? With my egg mixture, everything else that I wanted to make is in here. All right. One last thing right here, okay? Here we go. So now, here's the dish. Look at the service. I'm going to put some black pepper because this is carbonara. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna put some Pecorino Romano on the top of this. And because I can, and because I want this to be as unctuous as possible, I'm gonna put some McLean Luca extra virgin olive oil just on the top of it to finish. Oh, preach it, baby. Say that again, say that again. McLean Cellars. Extra virgin olive oil, Luca extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to make certain that I clean the side of the pan here because they will judge me on my presentation. Oh, one last thing. From the garden, a little bit of parsley right in the center. And there you have it. This is pasta carbonara a la Chef Jack. What's that, babe? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm coming right now. You can oh, literally that's I'm coming right now. Wait, there's my wife more. says she's coming now. So Shelly Ann bakes homemade bread today. Look at this thing. Wow. Awesome. Okay. Where did you find the yeast? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice it. I'm gonna put it on the grill pan. I'm going to make certain that uh, it gets a little bit of uh, of uh, love and flavor, and I'm going to put that on the side, and that's how we're going to eat dinner tonight. Bang! How do you like them apples? Dude, wow. That is, Jack, dude, I don't know what what happened to you from a, from a childhood standpoint, but yeah. you just are like the man. I wonder uh, when did you get, where did you get East from? Yeah, where's the East from? Do you have from? like a special connection? Like a mm. deal on the corner? Place, the black the market. Place. That's the right. The same place I bought the guanchal, which is Claro's, and they have them in Tustin, and there you can take look them up. Okay, they have blocks of fresh yeast. Ooh, they have one the fresh one, not the dry one. 
Oh, the dry one. They're fresh and 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 you know, oh. shelly. Just working with fresh yeast. Oh, that's the best. That is the best. I very agree. happy. I agree. Very very She's, happy. And, and and the bread is awesome. And so we're gonna we're going to make a little salad on the side. And we're gonna feast tonight. And I gotta wish that both of all of you, all of you, you and Mark and Kristen and Sophia. Jason, everybody was here tonight because I could feed you, and I love feeding people. Well, Chad looks delicious. You know, it's funny. Uh, me, Jack, and Mark spent a week up north in Gilton, as we mentioned to you guys last week. We were working on our new location up there. And um, by the way, for a quick update, it's coming along great. Um, uh, the Culligan guy was there today, hooking up our water filters for filtered water for the winery and for our guests. Uh, and today I spent about five hours working with the county of Santa Barbara, trying to make sure we get all the paperwork in for all the new permits we have to get installed. So it was really fun. It's like getting a <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds yeah. like a blast. Yeah, it's a great thing. It's like getting a root canal while you're surfing. <laughs> mm. Really great. Uh, but we sat there and Jack uh, cooked for us every day. So he shows up with this huge chest of food. Which, Huge, was really, yeah. which was really a good thing because our refrigerator didn't work. It's right. Yeah. Our refrigerator, we rented a house in San Inez up on the very top of the San Inez Valley. It was a gorgeous home overlooking all the valley. It was really beautiful. Uh, but the refrigerator and freezer both went out right when we got there. Uh, and the HVAC was, um, well, I think it was challenged uh, when it was really hot. Uh, and so Jack cooked for us every single day. We worked literally from... I'd say we were up around six or seven in the morning and we didn't get back to the house till seven or eight, but Jack would always leave a little bit early uh, and get there um, to prepare amazing dinner. And the last night, uh, Jack, the meal you made the last night, this little thing that went inside of a thing that just kind of folded the up. Bulgogi. What was it called? Bulgogi, bulgogi. right? Yeah. Bulgogi. Dude, bulgogi. amazing. Yeah. That was uh, off the charts. That was, was like, it? it was called a pupudapadubi. I'm still the, full. I'm still full. Bulgogi with, with an Asian slaw. It was nice. Yeah, it was good. Oh, good. It was amazing. So we're going to go back up there. We're just waiting for the city to tell us the day we can get our permits issued to go do the gazebos we're building on our property out front. All the landscaping with the Adirondack chairs are going out front. The signage and the outdoor lighting has to be installed and the signage and graphics under the bar have to be installed and the carpenter has to come back up and then the electrician. And we're going to tow my Harley Davidson up there to display it under lights as well. So we're all three of us going to go back up there again uh, and uh, and do it again. We don't know if it's going to be a week or two weeks or four weeks. We're just waiting to hear the city for their approval. But the city is not, you know, they're in the COVID-19 shutdown. So we're not going to the counter. So it'll be soon. We got, but We got stuff to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So tomorrow, Jack and I and, uh, and, 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 and a bunch of other really cool people are going to get together and talk about our little idea uh, about allowing a new door, uh, allowing people to get paid to drink. Uh, and that's it. So once again, you got the little link that I posted in the chat roll. I can post it again later before the broadcast is over tonight. But if you want to help us uh, and make a buck on the side and have some fun drinking wine, you let us know. Uh, but before we get into more fun, exciting things, I think it's a really great time to say thank you to the nurses because Sophia here, and I'm going to go that Sophia go full screen because I want you to see this beautiful person. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a nurse. This is what they look like in public. <laughs> when a nurse is at home, she has this arm that does this. And this arm does this, and then she can spin around. This is what a nurse looks like. And today is National Thank You Nurses Week. Day. Day. Or uh, week. Day. And I think it's a day. Well, I mean. On well, behalf of me and everyone in the chat roll tonight, and my mom who's watching, and Jack and Mark and all of our families, today you went to work. You downed yourself with a PPE, words none of us knew what they really were a month and a half ago. You put on the N95 mask. We didn't know what that was either. The cover over the N95 mask, didn't know what that was. A face shield, and you put a large prophylactic over your entire body. Uh, and, of course, you 
did not go to work without having a complete barricade over your entire essence. So no one could know who you were because you were blocked in every single way. These nurses are going through all kinds of trauma, all kinds of efforts. And my lovely wife is one of them. Every single day, subject to contracting the COVID-19 disease, every single day, fighting to make sure the patients are taken care of and that people are cared for. To be a nurse means you must give a damn. And I said the word clearly on YouTube, so forgive me, uh, and, and on Webinar Jam, they, they, you must literally be loving people. And I can tell you, as her husband of 17 years, this woman absolutely loves everyone. She gives so deeply and so emphatically and so directly and so without compromise. There's no one, honestly, there's no woman on the planet Earth that I can tell you has more desire to give everything, her only life, but for those she loves. She does it for her children. She does it for her husband. She does it for our, our dream, opening up in a winery and engaging things. And she does it, of course, for her patients each and every single day. So I like to thank all the nurses that are out there who give their moments and give their life and give their help to those who care and are always living the warm ear. And I can tell you, I live with one. And this woman is literally the best thing since Pac and Thy Spread. Oh, really thank you, so darling. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank to you. Doria Delphi and to my cousin Kirsten and my dear friends Michelle and all of our nurses' friends. Nurses have always been our hero. And so I cheers, second the most. Cheers to you guys and who's cheers. working, who just left the shift, who's coming to shifts. Hard job, but you do it because you love to and it's your calling. So yeah. that's who we are and thank you guys kindly for you know people in the, med in the medical field so like, for example like phil hare uh karen uh, i think karen's the one who's in who's a pharmacist i think well, maybe phil and karen are their wine claimers of ours and they're they're faithful members on the show every single every day they're on the show uh we had a show seven days a week karen and phil would be on there seven days a week uh they're pharmacists and they're working 40 plus hours a week over and over and over and people in the medical field um they they're bred differently than us i mean i just get you liquored up for a living. Uh, I have no value whatsoever. <laughs> I have, I, I'm not, I have, I have, listen, my companies, I own a company which is the largest online divorce company in North America. So I end marriages for the past 20 some years. That's a software I built like a TurboTax. It just runs by itself. So I don't help your marriage or your life. Go ahead. Okay. okay. So we're going to go the chat room for a second. So I, I, my wife, she helps people for a living. And then of course, my other job is I'm a winemaker. Uh, and then I can consult people to help them make more money selling things. So I don't have much value as much as my lovely wife has value. So thank you for helping me become way better than I am. Yes, I agree. Thank you for letting Jason be better than he is because we know you. Okay. <laughs> it's a Just moment. <laughs> God bless us all. You know, Jason, if it wasn't for you, Mark and I wouldn't be here right now. <laughs> I don't know what I'd be doing. That's right. Uh, no, you'd be across the street from Jason drinking wine, which is what you're doing right now. Exactly right. We're going to be there in a few minutes. You know, before okay. we sign off tonight, guys, I think it's really, really important that everyone understands that when they're sheltering in place and they're stuck at home and they have nowhere to go, I mean, absolutely, positively, nowhere to go let me show a quick video to make sure everyone understands something about these wine stimulus packages from mclean sellers here you go hi my friends jason here with an economic stimulus program just for you now listen i'm stuck at home right now with my wife and my children i can't leave and the government's talking about an economic stimulus program that will cost trillions of dollars. But I said to myself, what about people who like wine? Where's the love for you? So I'm going to bring you the love right now today. Starting today, we're releasing every single wine we've yet to release that's 100% complete and in the bottles. So I put together four stupid cool programs, great stimulus packages for wine lovers, and we'll ship it right to your doorstep. So right now, don't delay. Don't stick at home waiting for your parents to come over or your dog to bark or somebody else to go crazy. Realize that on this day, you can have your dreams come true.
Now, don't you just love that? Does that not make your liver quiver or shimmy cocoa pop? I think it's pretty cool. So listen, if you guys haven't picked up your stimulus package, they're new. We've modified them a little bit. I'm going to share my screen right now so you can see it. It's right here. It's our McLean Sellers Wine Stimulus Packages. And I'm going to pop them right here in the chat roll. Um, so they're available to you if you're watching on Webinar Jam or on YouTube. And this will give you your packages. Total package, keep me happy, a little love, the doctor's orders. You can pick the ones you want. These are all unreleased wines. A few of them are released. Our amazing artisan popcorn, which are absolutely stupid good. Total package is what you really want. Eight bottles of wine, eight bags of popcorn. If you're in a wine club, it's a $500 value plus a $100 gift card that you can use when you come visit with us. Lots of fun. Keep me happy. That is 300 or 375. You're not in the wine club. You're in the wine club. Boo -boo head. And of course, our wonderful doctor's orders: three bottles, two bags of popcorn, three and two, 150 and two, and a little love. Just two bottles of wine, one white, one red. Our amazing summer breeze, our Purpose Road, as low as 75 bucks. Honestly, all it's there to do is to give you a little love. And frankly, we all need a little bit of love. And Mother's so, Day is coming. And Mother's Day is coming. And listen, if you're not drinking enough McLean Flows wine, you got issues. And we should talk about that because <laughs> I can't help you. What do you think about that, Jack, Mark? Right. Uh, I agree. Absolutely agree. You know what? Mother's Day is very special. And if you have to distance from your mom, it's the worst thing on the face of the earth. Because the fact of the matter is you only get one mom. And, and you know, Mother's Day coming up right now is... I think particularly poignant because we are separated. And if mom's a little older, you do want to make certain that you've created a little bit of social distance and, and, and it's hard, but if mom likes wine, this is a really good opportunity to indulge in a McLean sellers package. So I totally um, uh, agree with the fact that uh, uh, you, you are doing this and I endorse the fact that we should have a mother's day package. I agree. It's your wine stimulus package. So mom, my mom's on the chat roll tonight. She's on the broadcast. Mom just got a package from me with some yummy, yummy bottles, some amazing popcorn, and some fantastic olive oils. Uh, why? Because she's mom and she needs the best. Right. And I encourage each and every one of you the exact same thing. Fall in love with your mom. Make sure she gets some McLean wine. And above all, drink good stuff life's too short oh by I, the way so my friend what do you think is, by the way we would all be rudderless without our mom Thank you. oh there it is there, there it is, is. We get in there somehow there it is there it is hmm. ah, yummy. we'd be like my the friend, castaways on gilligan's for, island gilligan's island <laughs> my friend i'm sorry for the uh technical difficulties tonight we're still trying to get the kinks out i'm hopeful that comes Saturday night, we'll be able to broadcast simultaneously to Facebook and YouTube and Webinar Jam at the same time, as well as another other platform, Instagram. And I'm working on that right this very second. We've got several platforms we're going to broadcast to. So keep an eye out. We're trying to move our broadcast system outside of Webinar Jam, which we've been using for a while, uh, into our website directly. You'll be getting emails on that, those who are watching the broadcast, uh, to make it a little more interactive, a little more fun, a little higher quality. Uh, we've been doing this now for, you know, 45 days, uh, every two days a week, uh, and we're going to get better at it. So stay tuned. Watch what we're going to do. Uh, Facebook Live, we're trying to get this broadcast on Facebook Live. Uh, we're trying to get this broadcast on YouTube, which apparently we've done. We've got it on YouTube, so you can watch it live on YouTube, uh, and it's available for replay. So all of our previous shows, if you want to watch a show, are now on a playlist called Wine TV on YouTube. So everyone watching tonight, do me a favor. If you see a little icon, if you're on YouTube, on your screen with the McLean logo, roll your mouse over it, click on it, and you can subscribe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for McLean Sellers. And once you subscribe to it, you'll get notices in our YouTube broadcast. But we're going to keep taking this thing up a notch. I want to get a broadcast on Facebook Live, broadcast on Instagram, broadcast on Periscope, which is Twitter, and broadcast on YouTube every single night. My game plan is to get that working 
live before this Saturday. Uh, and we'll get a little bit better. Once again, we're a winery with a low budget trying to create something different. And I just hate all these virtual wine tasting shows. I'm, probably you've seen them if you guys are watching and all. There's lots of great wineries out there. Uh, and there's a lot of great wine. I'm, I don't just make great wine. A lot of great wine being made. But the wine tasting shows suck poo-poo and dookie-dookie. Uh, I've never seen – some of them I've seen are just bad. Some are really good. But some are like, this tastes like – and then, um, what do you think, Fred? And then Fred turns around, I think it's really good, too. Okay, next one, real quick. And you want to just shoot yourself I didn't see in that the one. head. You saw that one, right? Uh, yeah, I think I did. <laughs> yeah. Jason! Yes. Jason! Yes. We are going to cook something absolutely spectacular on Saturday. Okay. Ask me what it is. What is, what is it? it, Jack? I don't know, but it's going to be spectacular. Mm. I promise you, okay? See what you did there? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, I'm, I'm gonna ask the three of you, what is your favorite thing to eat? Sophia, starting with you, what's your favorite? Oh gosh, I love chicken. I love chicken. chicken. You know, roasted chicken. Yes. A roasted oh. chicken. Jason. Jambalaya. 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 Mark. I'm a steak and potatoes kind of guy. Steak and potatoes, okay. Yeah, so, or surf and turf. Saturday, we're going to make the most spectacular potatoes. chicken, steak, potatoes, and jambalaya. <laughs> wow. Imagine. It's going to be it's going to be off the hook, ladies and gentlemen. And I promise you, you are going to love it, or not. I mean, it's up to you. <laughs> hey, are we going to do a three a three kitchen cook off again? Or this is going to be a jack. I'll send you. The, I, I I'll publish. Uh, I will publish the recipe tomorrow. And if you want to cook along, we can cook along. Or uh, I'll make certain that uh, that you guys have the recipe, and everyone that's watching right now can actually cook along yeah. if they want. Um, we might have some ingredients. Listen, listen, yeah, I would listen. Like to. Yes, I think I think we need to do a cook along, but I think we need to have a few of the faithful audience members that I always see in the chat roll, I think they need wow. to cook along as well oh, yes. and share oh, their video. Yes, I agree. So, I like so faithful friends to do us. that, can we get these recipes out a little bit sooner yeah. to the crowd yeah. so we can have them cook with us? I think that'd be great. No, I'm going to keep it really close to the best mark and I'm going to deliver. Okay. It very so. All right. Make it, make it tough. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I've already had that request and I promise you, I will publish something tomorrow. Jason will actually get it out and we will make certain that everyone can cook along. It'll be yes. great. Nice. I'm in. And, and just, and just so you know, I've been criticized in the past, uh, the cook alongs because once the food's ready, I don't have the discipline that you have, Jack. I want to just want to eat it as soon as it's done. <laughs> and so I, it, Mark. I saw the replay the where I was like, like this. I'm just I'm eating I'm the whole you, time. Brother. Okay. I, 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 uh, I've got it like in front of me right now, and uh, we're going to eat. Yeah. Go eat. Yeah. yeah. Don't Dig waste in. the cold. You, you know what I'm going to okay. do? I'm going to drink. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Me too. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Sounds like a plan, guys. Break. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you for listening to uh, Wine TV with McLean Sellers and with Jack and Mark. And we'll see you guys on Saturday. Love you Cheers, all. Everybody. Love Happy you all. Cheers. Thank you. Bye, Bye now. Bye now.